Yo, what's up you guys? I'm back today with another tie-in video on a fly that I call the Perta Turtle. Like always, I'm gonna give you guys a few reasons why I like this fly and why this fly has a spot in my box. Okay, so I don't have three reasons like I've done in the past for this fly, but the main reason that I have this fly in my box is for those times when I need a smaller fly that will get down real fast. Um, but the fish are being real picky and they're real selective and they want something that's real, real small. This is my go-to pattern for that. I tie it in about four or five different colors um, with tungsten beads and it has no tail and it sinks really fast. There's no drag whatsoever on the fly that would keep that fly from getting down deep to where those fish are. And so I like to keep my, I like to keep my small flies really simple and basic and I just basically carry this one fly in like five colors with um, bead variations and sizes. So that's the reason that I like this fly and why it has a permanent spot in my box. So let's get into tying it. Okay, so in the vise I have a falling mill 5125 size 20 hook with a two and a half millimeter tungsten bead. It's a pink bead from Hannock, metallic pink. One of my favorite colors for attractors. I'm gonna work my thread all the way back to where the bend would be, come back forward, build up a little bit of thread dam behind the bead to hold that in place. Grab my Mirage tinsel. Uh, this is opal. Put that right in there behind the bead. Capture that touching wraps all the way back to kind of build that body. We're not gonna put a tail on this fly. Unwind our thread to flatten out just a little bit counterclockwise, come back forward just like that. Now we're gonna take our Mirage tinsel and rib this fly with that tinsel just like that capture the tinsel. That tinsel can sometimes have a tendency to slide around on the thread, so it can be a little fiddly. It's the hardest part of this fly, which I would not really deem as difficult, but it's something to be aware of. Cut that off, grab your whip finish, throw a couple whip finishes in there just like that, cut our thread off. You're gonna see just how quick and easy this fly is to tie. Solaries. Thin hard on the fly. Grab your bodkin, spread this out. We don't want this is too much that I have on there, so we're just gonna kind of spread that out, make it nice and even, just like that. Spin it just a little bit. This is a little fly, doesn't need a lot of resin. Now I'm gonna grab our light and we're gonna set that do a couple just like that and your final one now once it's set just like that you see take our Sally Hansen's hard as nails black we're gonna add a little bit of a pad on top Just like that. And that is your finished fly. That took us just under three minutes to tie and we are complete. You can fill your box with these things super fast and this is my go-to small kind of midge um, attractor for fish that are being a little extra picky. I don't even put a tail in there. Just like that, finished, fish it hooks fish and that folding mill hook does a really good job of not bending out um, but still has a big enough gap to hook fish easily and I find this you know this fly as a dropper is one of my favorites anyway that's your finished fly fish it